in today's video I'm going to show you how I made these cards um, I made a bunch of these uh, a few days ago and I just I love the layout and I used different stamps and different colors I used gold foil for some and this one I used the um, silver glimmer paper and I used different stamp sets so um, yeah these I just I love this layout and you could use this layout with so many different stamps and colors so I thought I would do a quick video showing you this great card layout I chose to use the bookcase builder stamp set for this card um, because it's always fun to have some extra baby cards on hand so I'm going to be using the teddy bear because it's adorable so what you need to make these cards is just a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter cardstock and then I have this is a uh, night of navy this is marina mist and this measures five and a half by three and a quarter this piece of whisper white measures two and three quarters by eleven and I've scored it at the five and a half mark I'm just gonna fold that and set that aside I'm just going to add some snail. You can use whatever adhesive you like, of course, when you're making your projects. And that's just going to go right on the center. Okay. Set that aside. And then I have a piece of scrap Whisper White. I'm going to stamp my little teddy bear image on this. I'm putting my paper piercing mat underneath because I'm using photopolymer stamps. And you get a much better image when you use this foam pad underneath. So stick that right on. Grab my Marina Mist. Cute. I think this stamp set has been um, maybe a little bit overlooked. It is really a fun stamp set. There are so many different images in this set that you can use for all different occasions and the sentiments are really lovely. Really, really like those. All right, so now that we have that little guy, you know what? I think I punched him too close to the edge. Ooh, Nelly. Yep. So I'm going to flip that over and redo. And I like to hold my stamp images down just for a couple extra seconds because then you get a really nice inked image. All right, now I have room for my punch. I'm using the 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch. This is our old style punches, but we sell them with our new style punches too. And of course, you can use your layering circle dies and your big shot too, which we will be using. Now I have a piece of Marina Mist cardstock and I'm using my 1 and a half inch circle punch. Right on top. Okay, so now I've got my layering circle dies. I'm going to take out the scalloped ones first. And I'm going to pick a circle that fits nicely around that which I would say is this one right there. So I'm going to run this through the Big Shot using a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. Okay, add some snail, and then that goes on right like that. Okay, so there's my piece. I'm going to set this aside. Now I'm coming back to this piece here. And this is going to go in the center like that. So I want to have a nice opening so I can see that that's a great die for that. That's a perfect size. So I'm going to run that through the big shot and I'm going to leave some space here for the sentiment. Okay, so I've run this through the big shot. So I'm going to just set that aside. I can use it for a different project. So this is where this is gonna fit on the inside. And now I want to create a border around the outside of that circle. So I'm using the same size die Okay, so this scallop die fits right around the circle perfectly, and I have a piece of foil cardstock. I'm going to run that right through the big shot. Okay, so I've put this through the big shot, set that aside for another project. And 
and there's my foil that will fit around that circle perfectly. So I'm going to take some glue and put my silicone craft mat down. And just put a little bit of my liquid glue. I'm just tapping it on. Don't need a whole lot. Okay. And I like to put a little pin in the tip. There we go. So I'm actually a little bit over, I'm not quite center, but that's all right. Don't sweat the small stuff, I like to say. So I'm going to put some adhesive behind the back of this. And put that right on the front. And if your ends are past a little bit, you can trim them up. All right. So I've got some dimensionals that I'm going to put behind the circle. And I just want to say too, like this would look equally cute here with the sentiment and having it open that way, but. I'm going to stick with it this way. So we have that. And for the sentiment, I'm going to use today's little moments become tomorrow's precious mo uh, memories. So, let's see. So right there. Stick that on my block. Grab my Knight of Navy ink. Now, I'm actually going to put some re-inker on this pad because it's been a while since um, I've re-inked it. And I want to make sure my ink is nice and bright. I'll open this up. Okay, I've decided I want to add a little banner up here. So I'm going to take my little banner stamp. Put it on my block. Taking my marina mist and where am I going to put that? I'll put that there. Take my marina mist marker and just tie those all together. My Knight of Navy marker now. looks cute okay so I've pulled up my petal palais stamp set because that congratulations will fit perfectly on the inside of this card and I'm using a little uh, lip balm because that keeps my clear stamps from falling off they stay on really really well there we go that up make sure it's nice yes it is beautiful I'm gonna take my knight of navy and I'm gonna just color in the eyes of the teddy bear and his little nose so to finish the card I've made a little tiny bow using my white organza ribbon 
I'm going to take a glue dot. Stick it on. And that finishes the card nicely. Isn't that sweet? This is such a fun layout. I love this layout. So again, I'll show you the other ones that I did. This card was using the Garden in Bloom with the glitter paper. I put Dazzling Diamonds on the bee's wing. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty in real life. And then some more embellishments and then stamp the inside. This one was done the same way, but it's got the gold. And you'll notice too that the circles I used are bigger than this one. So you can adjust the size of your circles depending on what your center image is gonna be. This one's pretty. This one's using Flirty Flamingo and the stamp set is Colorful Seasons. And then I just used different stamp sets for the inside of the cards. So I made a whole bunch of these last week and popped them in the mail to customers and team members who promoted. Um, I just made all different occasion cards using this same layout. And um, I, I'll i be making many more cards using this card layout because I just I love how it looks. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a try. You'll love it. It's super duper fun. Happy stamping.